Folks Studio here and today we've got this. This is the Esheen E0112HC and it's a mini indoor outdoor ducted fan FPV racer. So let's have a little look and see. So let's open her up. There we go. So inside we've got the box obviously and then we've got the, the manual. And then we've got a little transmitter sitting on the top. Got a little accessory bag and then we have the quadcopter. Okay, so let's put all these to one side and here's the quad. Look at the size of that. It is absolutely tiny. It quite honestly fits in the palm of your hand. It's really quite striking. Stands out really quite well. I like these ducted fans. They look quite nice, but it is really, really small. Wow, this really is tiny. So you've got a little 720p 2 megapixel camera at the front here. Then working our way back, obviously, as you can see, we have a yellow, yellow stick on body. Then we have four ducted fans, four ducted fan type uh, propellers here as well. On the underside we have the four tiniest motors ever inside here. And then we have a battery to the back. Now, if we just go back to the front and have a little look from this point onwards, it looks nice. It, ha it is made of, of ABS plastic so it, it can withstand a bit of a crash. It's also got a bit of flexibility there as well so when it does crash you have a bit of flex so it doesn't just smash, it doesn't just crack. Now this battery at the bottom here, if I just take this out. Now as this quadcopter doesn't have an on, and off, an on or off button, as soon as you plug this battery in it comes on automatically. Now this particular battery is a 3.7 volt 200 milliamp hour. Now when you plug it in You've got your plug and you've got your socket, which is right here. When you do plug it in, as I say, it is going to just come on automatically. So what you're going to want to do is plug her in on a flat surface, a little bit like a bench or a, uh, or a floor, wherever you're going to have the quad copper to take off from. And then plug her in and then leave her like that until this fast flashing gets into a slower paced flashing. That lets you know that the first part of the gyro calibration is complete and therefore it is on a solid level base like that and then when it goes from this fast to that that's when you know the first part is complete if you hold her up like this and plug her in then she is going to calibrate or there's a possibility she's going to calibrate incorrectly and therefore she isn't going to fly properly and fly true now that's a little bit fiddly because you can see when you've plugged when you've got the battery in here you can't get access to that plug. So you quite literally have to plug it in and then put, put the battery in the underside of the quadcopter. I don't necessarily like that. I think that's overly fiddly. Uh, but just to let you know, that is exactly what you have to do in order to get this in here. Now, charge time of this battery is about 40 minutes. Uh, and from that 40 minutes, you'll have a flight time of five minutes. Now you do only get the one battery with this particular model. So you can't even uh, stack up two or three batteries and then put them one after each other, unless you have got this particular side, this particular plug on the end of it as well. Uh, now this is not something that I've got. Not I've got this particular plug on a few quadcopters, but not a battery of this size that fits in something as small as this. Uh, so that may be a little bit annoying. Uh, but then again, five minutes, that's pretty standard for a nano nano quadcopter um, and this is exactly the sort of flight time you get with this flying distance from this transmitter is going to be 30 meters so just enough for you to keep it in range because obviously don't forget this is extremely small now there is one thing to add there is a little SD card uh, writer just built in here you can just slot in an SD card into there you don't get an SD card with this with this pack so you are gonna have to provide your own now, now let's come on to the transmitter so the transmitter as you can see it's pretty standard nano transmitter as you can see also we have altitude hold as the left thumbstick just springs back to the middle just denoting that we do have altitude hold there we have our trim buttons at the bottom pretty standard we also have uh, our flip button on the right so as you click it down and move then you can flip directionally with that as well then we come on to one key takeoff and one key landing on the right shoulder button then we've got um, our little power LED then if you click down the left thumbstick then you get speed mode one two and three there are three speed modes with this then you also have your um, sorry with your left uh, 
the shoulder button as well. You have a short press is to shoot a photo and long press is to take a video. So likewise what I would do before you turn off the quadcopter after your flight, click again just to turn off the video to ensure that saves directly to the SD card. Otherwise if you do turn off the, the, the quadcopter you do risk losing your whole flight uh, video there. So that's quite sweet, that's quite nice. One thing to denote about this though is you don't have an FPV boom, boom. you can't fly FPV from this particular uh, this particular e sheen that's a little bit strange but still uh, I think it kind of stands out a little bit as well by not having an FPV boom on here two AA batteries just fitting in the back that's what powers this transmitter this transmitter does not allow USB charging of any sort so you are gonna have to ensure that you have got the correct fully powered batteries in here before you take it out for a flight okay so that's the transmitter let's put that to one side and then you do have in your spare accessory pack you have a USB uh, charging cable and four spare propellers there as well should you need them so that is pretty much everything that you get inside this box now one thing though how much does this weigh what exactly is your flying weight so let's put the battery back in the bottom of this let's get our trusty scales and let's weigh this particular quadcopter. So with the battery, your flying weight is going to be 18 grams. So this is an indoor outdoor flyer, but I would say at 18 grams, you're not gonna want to have any breeze outside at all. Otherwise this is going to fly away. Even with speed mode three at this size, 18 grams is nothing. And this is really going to, uh, going to notice every sort of little, little breeze that you have. Okay, so everything that you get in the packet. So you get your quadcopter manual, you get your transmitter, you get your, uh, your accessory pack there as well. And of course, you get your very, very dinky quadcopter. So there we are, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.